。Hello， 大家好，欢迎回来，我好欢迎我，我是 Vincent， 我是 Olivia。大家是不是只会用 Go to work 来表达上班跟下班呢？记得今天影片二选一，一起来挑选最正确的句子吧。Something happened on my way to work. What happened? <clears throat> I came to work by bus this morning, and saw the bus was delayed. Yeah, a serious accident happened, and it paralyzed the traffic. Have you ever considered riding a scooter to work? I would have rode my scooter to work if it hadn't broken down. Oh, bad things seem to happen to you all the time. You can say that again. What about your brothers? Can't you borrow his? He works at a convenience store, and he starts work at 6 a.m. I guess you have to wait till your scooter gets fixed. Do you need to leave for work earlier than before? Yeah, I usually leave for work at eight. But I woke up at six this morning, and I left for work at seven thirty. That's way too early. That's an hour and a half beforehand. That's the time I wake up. Tell me about it. I only wish that we can get off work on time so that I can go home and rest. We're going to be in a meeting for a whole day. Remember? The annual performance review is today. Yeah, and we still need to contact a few new companies afterward. God, the meeting is tiring enough, and I still have to take the bus home. Or you? Let's get some coffee then. All right. 大界选择题不知道我们选对呢？里面其中几个是陷阱题，我们一起来看看它的解析吧。其中一题是我今天早上搭公车来上班。I came to work by bus this morning. 那如果今天你在办公室，你在跟同事聊天的时候，你就会说我来公司，而不是我去公司，所以才会用 came to work。那如果今天呢，你是下班回家跟爸妈说，哎、欸，我今天搭公车去上班的话，你就会说 I went to work by bus this morning。那其中还有另外一题呢，是我弟弟早上六点上班。这句话的意思就表示六点整开始上班。英文上就会使用 I start work at 时间来表示。Ready for work 呢，就是中文说的出门去上班。例如我六点出门去上班，就会说 I leave for work at six。那如果你要表达下班的话呢，你就会用 get off work 来表示。同样的，如果你要确切表示你是几点下班的话，你就可以在后面加上时间，比如说 I get off work at 6:30， 我六点半下班。以上就是今天的放英文，不知道大家有没有学会如何使用上下班的英文呢？喜欢我们的影片的话，欢迎按赞、订阅、开启小铃铛，并且分享给你所有的朋友。那我们下次见喽，拜拜。Bye bye